Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm gonna try and make another soap video today. I'm working um, with a new fragrance oil. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. Um, in my pot today, I have palm, coconut, olive oils, um, cocoa butter, apricot oil, castor oil. And we're gonna go ahead and put my lye water in, get everything mixed up. So here goes. I am working a little bit warmer than usual today because I don't have the patience to wait for it to cool off. And here it goes. All right. Ignore any background noise today, being that with COVID going on, I have my whole family home. Kids, husband, everybody. So hopefully it doesn't get too noisy. All right, here goes. I'm gonna blend this up until it's um, a light trace and then we'll add our fragrance. Hope everybody's doing well at home. It's been pretty good around here. Other than my kids are going stir crazy because I can't see their friends, other than that, it's good. One thing I forgot to put on was my glasses, so I should probably get those on. Safety first. All right, probably hard to see on camera, but I do have a light trace here. I'm gonna go ahead and put that fragrance in and hope for the best. Here it goes. It's actually a pretty fragrance. It's called Sunflower, and it's pretty. There's still a little bit of weird stuff there, but we'll just mix it up and hope for the best. Usually I don't do a brand new fragrance on video, but I want to do a video and I had a new fragrance, so I'm trying it. There it goes. All right, just going to set my spatula out of the way for a second. Just get this, all the extra stuff off here. Get this out of my way minute and I'm just gonna it's actually it is definitely speeding up my tree so I'm gonna work a little bit faster here to get this all in I just want to make sure that I've got that mixed in okay so I'm gonna put some in here and some in here I've got two different colors here um, I'm not even sure if this one's on camera Yep, it is. Um, this one's a blend of some yellow, orange, and titanium dioxide, and this one is a hunter green. So let's just go ahead and put some of this in here. And we'll put some in there. It's definitely speeding up. Oh yes, definitely speeding up. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to do the pot one last because I am putting titanium dioxide in there, and it titanium dioxide in itself speeds up trace. So. This might be a gloppy soap. Here we go. Oh, Quick buzz to make sure everything is well incorporated. Oh, and you know what? I changed my mind. I am going to do this one because I don't want to do the I don't want to do the green lap um, and then the white. So I changed my mind just a little bit. So blend in this titanium dioxide and then we'll go do the green. Sorry, I probably have gone off camera a bit now, but can definitely it's definitely um thickening up on me so I'm gonna Put a little speed up on it here, and we're gonna get this. Oh goodness! 
Right, let's get this one mixed up and get this into the mold before it really starts to speed up. Okay. This hunter green is actually a new color and I'm really I'm really liking it. It comes out really nice after the soap is done. Alright, so I'm just gonna go like this. And then we'll go like that. And I'm just going to set my blender out of the way. All right. So what my plan is, let's get my, my mold in the picture here. Oops, I just have to clean up. And mind the mess on my table. This table is also used for my painting. So I should put something on that before I work on it. But all right, let's go and... This will be in here. All right, so let's put some white in there first. Stop there. And then I'm going to give this a. I don't think this is going to break through the top, so I'm just kind of going to plop it up here. Just like so. Sometimes I try and break the fall of the soap, but because the soap is thickening up on me so quickly, I don't really need to worry about that today. And then I'm just going to flatten that around a little bit so it's all got some of the orange. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the green on top. All right. And I also forgot my tool to do my my hanger tool. So I'm gonna have to grab that. So I'm just gonna get this smeared around here the best we can. I'm not panicking. When I first started making soap and I would start to get this thickening up, I would panic and slap it into the mold and I don't panic anymore. It is what it is. And I have never really had anything turn out so horribly that I couldn't do something with it. All right, so I'm going to break this. Oh, I've got more soap. Then as I make a mess, so let's get get rid of that. And then I'm gonna plop the white on top before I get my hanger tool. Plop this. Oh, you can see. I hope. Hopefully, I have everybody in camera and they can see how thick this has gotten on me in a couple of minutes. But it's all good. It'll still be nice. It just means that this type of fragrance, if I decide to soak with it again, um, is not something that I would probably plan intricate swirls with, that's for sure. Let's just get all of this out of here. Scrape everything out we can. I really am making a mess here. Oh well, I make more of a mess when I'm trying to get it on film because I'm, I'm at an awkward position here. But, okay, here we go. Let's get that out of the way. And I gotta take those off. I'm gonna smear that white around, just like that. And I'm going to go and get my hanger tool. Just get some of this mess off of here too. Okay. And my hanger tool is just that. It's just a, a hanger. So I'm going to go down my mold and then up and then down just all the way across. I'm only going to make the paths once. Wipe my hanger tool off here, and then I'm going to clean everything up. And I don't even have to wait to fix the top of this, I can do it right away. So I'm going to first grab sticks here. Get a spatula. Like this. Okay, so I just, I just 
like to go around and clean up these edges a little bit with my stick. And then I'll go in and fluff that top up. It's not as thick as this bat is, it's not staying up real great for me. So I'll just go over it again until it does what I want it to do. And then that should be good. I'm just going to take this again and just do a little swirl on the top. And there it is. Actually, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit here. Oh, the stick's working better than the spatula. There we go. Hopefully this right up will hold up once everything is cured. There we go. And there you have it. I will cut this and show you what the inside looks like uh, tomorrow. See you then.